But the most probable scenario is that at some point XRP will come back down to retest either the bottom of the band or the bull market support with the blue dots. And please do not panic if you see that the price goes down to retest the bull market support. It will not be a surprise again, guys. Welcome to the AquaFlow Crypto Lab. As you can see, this is exactly the scenario that we predicted. So in this video, I'm going to give you an update of the big picture chart. After this, we are going to talk about the cloud chart. Of course, we are going to discuss the brand new indicator, the XRP bull bear index. And at the end of the video, we are going to talk about the moonshot chart. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. That's all for the introduction. Now, let's begin. I've been saying for more than one month now that it was great that XRP had a breakout above the bull market support, but at some point we needed to come back down to retest the line. And how did I predict this? It's very simple. This is exactly what happened just right here. We have our breakout above the bull market support with the blue dots. We have a retest of the 180 weeks exponential moving average. This is exactly what we had here. But after this, we came back down to retest the bull market support. We held it for multiple months in a row and it gave us confidence to have an official breakout. Today, the situation is very similar. We have this breakout, then we were stopped by the moving average and we are coming back down to retest the bull market support. Again, this is completely normal because we have the band. You remember the band, the bull bear band with the red part, the orange part and the green part in bull markets. Right now we are in the orange part, right? We were in this phase before during the entire bear market. And now we may be witnessing a transition phase into a bull market, just like it was the case here. That's why it's no surprise. And I predicted that XRP needed to stay in this zone inside the band for a while. And this is what we are currently seeing. So, so far so good. And as long as XRP stays above the bull market support, which is currently around 39 cents, we have nothing to fear. This is all part of the plan. And remember that to have an official breakdown below the bull market support, we have to have a full candle body closing below the bull market support. So even if the price goes down and pierce the bull market support, this is not an issue. This is exactly what happened during the SEC sell-off. As you can see, we pierced the bull market support in a deep way, but we came back up and we were still using the bull market support as a support. This is very important. So remember that what is important is to have a full body closing below the bull market support. I hope it's clear. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section or on Twitter. Also, we have this green support below us. This is the support that is just below the bull market support. And as you can see, it is a very, very strong and key support level because we kept this level for this entire phase of the market. So all my indicators are here for a reason. It allows us to decrypt exactly what is going on right now. And with confidence, we know what to expect if we want to see XRP going into a bull market. That's all for the big picture chart. I hope it's clear. It's time to move to the next chart. So this is the bull bear cloud. The principles are the same. We have the cloud that you can see with the red color, the orange color and the green color in bull markets. We have also the bull market support, which was the bear market resistance when we were still below the bull market support, right? So we can rename it. Here it is. We have also the mountain indicator in purple and the buy sell signal that you can see just right here, right? So what about the current situation? As you can see, 
after the breakout above the bull market support, we got stopped by the green line. And again, this situation is very similar to this one. Why? We were here, right? In this beautiful bear market. Yes, a bear market can be beautiful too. And we were still below it with this rejection, rejection, rejection by the green line, by the cloud and by the bull market support. You see, it was a beautiful confluence point. Here again, it was a beautiful confluence area, a beautiful confluence area. And we got rejected one time, two times, three times. But after this, what happened? We have this official breakout above the bull market support with the blue dots. We even pierced the cloud and the green line. But we have this sell signal, right? And because of this, we have a rejection to the downside, retesting the bull market support and the cloud at the same time. And now what happens? Here, of course, we have the rejection by the green line, by the cloud and by the bull market support. It was a beautiful area of confluence. Again, you see the power of confluence just right here. And after this, we got rejected again, this time by the cloud and the bull market support. The green line was too far away, but now we are on it. We tested it and we got our rejection. And guess what? Just right here, we have our sell signal. This is very, very similar to the sell signal that we have just right here. Why? We have the breakout, we pierce the cloud and the green line, and we go back down to retest the lines, right? Here, we have the breakout, we go up to pierce the cloud and the green line, and we have our sell signal, which pushes down to retest the bull market support and the cloud. The only difference is that there is a gap between the cloud and the bull market support in this area, right? And in that case, it was not the case. Why? Because you see that the blue dots were inside the cloud. So the confluence area was more precise and we could retest both at the same time. But now, as there is a gap, we may have to come back further than the clouds to retest the bull market support, right? I hope it's clear and that's why the price is currently trending below the cloud and not inside it. So in that phase, the price was trending between the green line and the bull market support. And right now, we have the price trending below the green line and the bull market support. That's why we might be in a transition phase again. So don't panic and let's see if XRP is able to maintain the 39 cents level. And just for your information, currently the mountain indicator is around 23 cents. And the mountain indicator gives us perfect targets. As you can see, it was the case here with the buy signals. It was the case here. It was the case here and here again. So we know that XRP cannot go below the mountain indicator. So remember this level. Now let's move to the next chart. Oh yeah, I have some bad news for you related to the bull bear index. I built this indicator, this custom indicator to give us a confidence score about the phase, the current phase of the market. Each line represents a different indicator that tells us if XRP is in a bull market or in a bear market or in a transition phase. When the dot is red, the indicator is saying that we are in a bear market. When the dot is green, the indicator is saying that we are in a bull market. And of course, when it is white, it is in a neutral zone, so it may be in a transition phase. And of course, the power of this indicator of this bull bear index is that as each line is based on a different indicator, each line will say independently from one another if XRP is in a bull market or in a bear market. And by using all these lines together, we can build a confidence score that can say how bullish XRP is. And if we take a look at the percentages, you can see that right now XRP is pretty bearish. 
But again, as we are getting closer to the bull market support, it's normal to see this kind of behavior. So to be clear, there is still hope because what is really important is the sum between the neutral percentage and the bull percentage. Indeed, if we consider that XRP is in a transition phase, we want to keep the sum between the neutral percentage. And currently this is the case because if we sum both of them, you see that we are around 56%, which is greater than 44%. So it's very tight, I agree. But remember that in this bear market, look at all the red dots that we had just right here. Right now we have a couple of green dots and white dots, which is good. But if we see all the dots starting turning red, it will not be a good sign, guys. So let's keep an eye on this. And if you want the updates, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And last but not least, it's time to move to the moonshot chart. Okay, so it will be very, very quick because what we want to see for a moonshot is the yellow line crossing above the green line. And as you can see, this is not the case just yet. I warned you that if XRP was not ready to have this moonshot, right? we had to see the price coming back down to prevent the yellow line from crossing the green line. And this is exactly what we are seeing right now. Indeed, the yellow line was going up, right? Just right here, it was going up, 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 and the price was going up. But to prevent the line from going further, the price came back down. And now we have the yellow line starting turning back down also and the price is even below the yellow line. But again, if we have a look at the past, it's very similar to this situation because here we went up just above the green line, but we came back down even below the yellow line and we stayed around it for a while before having our cross just right here with this gigantic move. And right now with this, we went up just above the green line, then we came back down and now we are trending around the yellow line, just like it was the case around the yellow line just right here. So if we follow the same pattern, the next step is to have the moonshot cross. So we are waiting for you, moonshot cross. So now you have the complete picture of what XRP is currently doing. If you have questions, let me know. And of course, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all for today's video and as always, time will tell.